This is part 69 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between window height and document height and how to detect if the user has scrolled to the bottom of the page. To get the window height, use window.height and to get document height, use document.height. So what is the difference between window height and document height? The window height is what you see. So the visible area within the browser window, that's called as window height. This is often called as browser viewport. Whereas document height includes everything below or above the visible area within the browser window. So if you have a large HTML document, you know, obviously you will have a scroll bar. Now when you scroll up or down, you know, the document height includes everything below or above that visible area. So window height is the visible area, it's often called as browser viewport, whereas document height includes everything below or above the visible area. To understand the difference between window height and document height, we will be using the same example that we worked with in part 52. In part 52, we discussed how to create a floating div using jQuery. And here is that example. I'm not going to go into the details of this example. We discussed that in detail in part 52. So if we view this page in the browser, this is how it looks like. So here we have a floating div. So if we have a lot of content within the main page content section, we will have a scroll bar. As we scroll up and down, this floating div will be always visible. Okay. Now to create those scroll bars, I have already typed some content in, you know, for the HTML document. So let's copy this content and then paste it within this main page content section. So we get scroll bar. So within the main page content section right here, I'm going to paste that HTML that we have copied from the notepad. So we have a div element here. Within that div element, we have all that HTML. All right, so let's go ahead and save this and reload this page. Now, since we have a lot of content, notice that we have got a scroll bar. And look at this div. This div is floating on the right-hand side. Now, what we want to do is actually retrieve the window height and document height. In addition to those two, I also want to retrieve the vertical, I mean, the scroll bar current vertical position. Okay. And to get the current vertical position of the scroll bar, we can use scroll top function. Okay, so let's get all these three values and display them within this floating div element. Okay, so floating div element is present in this variable. So we are finding that floating div element by ID. And, you know, as we scroll up and down, you know, window.scroll event is raised. So within the event handler, let's go ahead and append the height of the window, the height of the document, and the scroll bar vertical position. Okay, so floating div dot, I'm going to use the HTML function. And what we want to do is first let's find the window height. So window height equals, and how do we get the window height? Dollar window, and on that, use the height function. Okay, and to that, let's go ahead and append an HTML break. And to that, so let's copy this. So now we want document height. So document height equals document dot height. And finally, we want the scroll bar position. So vertical. scroll bar position equals and how to get the vertical scroll bar position window dot scroll top all right so that's what we want to display within that floating div element so let's go ahead and save those changes let's reload this page and look at this, as we scr keep scrolling down, look at that, window height is 667, whereas document height is 1964. And look at the vertical scroll bar position, as we keep scrolling down, you know, the scroll bar position keeps increasing. Look at that. And when we hit the bottom, look at that. That's what is the vertical scroll bar position. At this point, the vertical scroll bar position is 1297 
document height is 1964 and window height is 16, uh, 667. So now if we subtract, let's open calculator. So if we subtract document height, document height is 1964 minus window height, window height is 667 equals, look at what we get, 1297, the vertical scroll bar position. Okay, so how to detect if the user has scrolled to the bottom of the page? So here we have the formula. So scroll bar position, that is the current vertical position of the scroll bar, if that is equal to document height minus window height, then that indicates if this condition becomes true, then we have scrolled to the bottom of the page. Let's actually include this condition and see what we get. So here, what I'm going to do is include that condition. If scroll position, so scroll position is actually present, you know, in this variable, you know, we can either use that variable or we can use this actually replay. Let's replace this with this variable because we are already calling that scroll top function there. So let's use this variable here. So if scroll position is equal to window height, actually document height, minus window height. So document height minus window height. So if that condition is true, then what does that mean? We have reached the bottom of the page. So let's say floating div dot HTML equals you have scrolled to the bottom of the page. All right. So let's go ahead and save the changes, reload this page, and look at this. As we keep scrolling down, and when we hit the bottom of the page, look at what is going to happen. So I'm about to hit the bottom of the page. Look at that. It says you have scrolled to the bottom of the page. And when we keep scrolling up, we get again the window height and document height and the current vertical position of the scroll bar. Okay, so a very simple formula to detect if we have scrolled to the bottom of the page. Now sometimes, you know, in Google Chrome, window height and document height will be same. And that's because if you don't have this doc type tag. So let me remove that doc type tab uh, tag and see what's going to happen. Save the changes. Let's go ahead and reload this. And look at this. As we scroll down, look at that. It reports the same value for both window height and document height. This is a problem with Google Chrome, but not in Internet Explorer. So if you want to fix it, all you have to do is include the doc type tag. So let's save the changes. And now it reports the correct values for window height and document height. So in our next video, we'll discuss how to load data like Facebook as you scroll down the page. Thank you for listening and have a great day.